Hi there, folks. In this lesson, I want to introduce to you how to compile the GNU debugger or GDB from scratch. On occasion, you might need to do this because you don't have the latest version of GDB. So let's go ahead and take a look at what version I have and where we can compile and build from source the latest version. So on my Ubuntu system, I have version 10.2. And on occasion, depending on what package manager you're using, if you're on a Linux system, you may not, when you install the essential build tools, get the latest version. Or perhaps if you're on a Windows system and trying to build some of these Linux tools, you may need to do this from source or likewise for Mac. So let me go ahead and show you with the GNU debugger or GDB how to compile and install this from scratch. And the way I'm going to do this, is I'm going to go to the current Git repository uh, linked on their website here and download a copy of their read-only Git page. So let's go ahead and clone this here, and it'll just take a few moments to download. So while it's downloading the Git repository, I want to go ahead and just take a look at this URL here. So I've highlighted here, and what I've done is just replaced uh, the Git prefix here with HTTP. So that way I can take a look at what's inside of the actual repository. So if I search for GDB here, the repository that we're actually downloading, I can take a look at the summary as well. And what this is going to do is give me a nice listing of some of the changes that have been made and by who. So, so this may be a little bit unfamiliar to folks, for example, who are used to a GitHub interface, but you can still see the changes, the actual commit, what was different if you want to dive in a little bit. I know I'm keeping an eye on this, for example, for the new Apple Silicon M1s to see if GDB will be supported. So this could be a quick way to sort of prep through the logs as you're trying to get GDB installed. So uh, I'm going to give this just another moment to finish downloading, and then we will continue. OK, so hopefully that doesn't take too long for it to download all the files. Here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is navigate into the bin utils GDB directory here that we've just cloned from GitHub. And if I go ahead and look at it, you're going to find that there are, in fact, a lot of files. And if you're not as familiar in a Unix or Linux environment, there are a few important ones here. So usually that's a hint to build a project. When we see something like configure, that means that we can use the configure tool to, well, start creating some files for our system. So let's just go ahead and look at what is in uh, configure just to get an idea of what's going on. And we'll see that this is a shell script here. And it's going to try to basically figure out what kind of system we're running on and configure our system for building GDB such that if I'm on a Linux 64-bit system, that's Ubuntu, maybe there's specific configuration options or directories that the build should eventually be in. So let's go ahead and run configure. And I'll just type in configure here and execute it. And it's going to take a few moments to run the configuration. So what you're going to see is that it's going to look for a few tools. A lot of these tools are in the build essentials, such as the archive tool, for example, having a G++ compiler, and some other tools that might be needed for GDB's compilation, meaning other libraries and other dependencies. So now that we have that, we'll see at the very bottom here that we have created a make file. So we can actually type in make here. And I'm going to do a parallel build here, just so it runs a little bit faster, uh, with J8. So we'll create eight jobs to try to build all of GDB. And hopefully this will run a little bit faster. And you'll see the uh, various uh, make files being generated and trying to build the system. Now, if I let this run here for just a moment, and I fast forward, it looks like I got an error. Sometimes the parallel builds don't always work. So I'm just going to run make and see what warnings or other errors that I might get. So for example, it says make info is missing on my system. So that might be something that I need here. And it looks like this BFD info also failed on my system. So we might have to fix a few things here. The one way that I try to figure out how to install these programs is just to type in make info, and well, it's actually this program here. So let's go ahead and install that and see if that's going to help us parse some of the configuration files for GDB. And again, I am on an Ubuntu system, so your mileage may vary on the various commands that you need to install and run on your system. 
So let's just give that a moment to finish installing, and then we will remake the make process here. So now let me try to make. And again, I'm just going to do a non-parallel build. Sometimes the parallel builds can cause some problems, meaning if dependencies get built out of order, uh, and usually you can fix that by just running make again. So I'm going to let this run for a few moments, and I'll come hop back in when this is completed. OK, darn. After about a minute or so, it looks like I'm missing another dependency here, bison. So let me just try to type it in and see if it gives us the appropriate command, and it does. So I might have to rerun this process a few times, but I want to go ahead and do this in front of you just so you can see the dependencies if you have a relatively clean Ubuntu system without these so you can build GDB. OK, and as you know, we just repeat the process with make once again. And now flex is missing. So flex, how do I install it? sudo apt install flex. So let's repeat the process. And I'll hit yes, and we will continue. OK, so once again, I'm going to run make, and let's see what else we're missing here. Oh, looks like we're missing another tool, flex, here. And at this point, you might be getting a little bit frustrated saying, what do we actually need here? So what I actually have here is I'm just going to Google the GDP dependency list here and see if I can get a list of all the libraries here. So I could probably find some of these here and see what is actually required. Now, this is on uh, Arch Linux, another Linux system. So you may be able to use that to figure out your dependencies. OK, so as far as to fix this one, this looks like I'm missing Lex. But at this point, it looks like I do have these tools and I've created a little bit of a mess for myself. So what can I do here to try to fix this? One thing I should have probably done before even starting this, now that I have all my dependencies, is create a separate build directory. So I'm going to make a directory here called the build, and I'm actually going to run the configure tool inside of the build directory. And this is going to generate the make file in this separate directory. It looks like maybe there were some issues with dependencies or building source within the actual uh, source directory can sometimes be problematic. So let's try to run make here. And now that we have a cleaned up system, see if we're able to make some more progress here. And chances are, if you're following along this series, maybe you're following it because you've run into this error, which I'll step out of the way for. And it's asking you to basically run this make this clean command. OK, so basically what this is, I'll move out of the way again. So we can see it. Make this clean is to clean up the files that we've created in any configurations. So let's go ahead and run make again, uh, or rather configure. And depending on where we created the uh, build file, we need to do this in our root directory as well. OK, so let's move back into our build directory, run configure. And then we're going to rerun our make file. And this time, let's see if we get a different result. OK, so we're back in action, but yet again, some other errors. But we don't panic. We try to fix the errors by reading the messages. So what do I see? GMP is missing or unusable. Again, after a quick Google search, this appears to be some library that we can install on our Ubuntu system. So I'm going to go ahead and install this uh, dependency here. And let's go ahead and get that set up. And we just take care of these one at a time. And again, I'm going to try to run make tool after fixing this dependency. And because make is a smart build system, it's not going to rebuild everything from scratch, only the things that it needs to build. It might need to do some checks for files that exist, but it should pick up the build process where it left off here. So let's see where we land and if we have to fix yet any more bugs on the system. All right, if you went through that process, then it took about 10 minutes or so with just a one core build without any parallelization. But at this point, I think we've finally done it. I think we've finally built all the bin utils and the latest version of GDB. So where are these tools? So let's go ahead and explore our directory here. And if I go ahead into bin utils and do an LS, you'll see I have all the 
executables for various tools that are needed with GDB or just that are handy to know about in general. So for example, I can try to execute some of these and of course I need some input, but they are in fact running here. So that's pretty cool that I have all these tools. Let's go ahead and figure out though the key question, where is GDB? So if I go back here inside my uh, build directory, just to show you the full path here, and I go into GDB, well, do I have a GDB that I can execute? In fact, on my terminal, I do. It is GDB. So I can do dot slash GDB, hit enter, and let's go ahead and see what happens here. So I do have version 12 here, uh, which is actually the latest version as of this release, built in 2021 here, and it looks like we can run GDB. And I've got the text user interface and all of these certain things. So that's pretty cool. Now, there is one more step that I would like to do, however, or to try from our install, because uh, what if I just try typing in GDB from anywhere else? Well, this is still my 10.2 version. here. So what do I want to do? Well, let me go back into my build directory and type in make install. And now what I want to do is see if I'm able to reset my path to have GDB. Well, again, just observing what's going on here, it looks like I have permission denied. Because what this is trying to do now with make install is to install all of the tools that we just had, but to put them into a user bin directory or some default location. So I probably need sudo permissions for this. The so sudo make install. And let's go ahead and give this a moment to again run through, make sure that everything's built. And I'm going to try typing in GDB. And it looks like, well, which version do I have here? From 2021? Hmm, still looks like it didn't work. What could have happened here? Well, again, we don't want to panic because I think the command did run successfully. It's not showing up here, but oftentimes what you have to do is open up another terminal here because when the terminal launches, so let me make this a little bit bigger, it loads all the environment variables and the new paths from some location. So here, uh, in this new terminal, maybe let me make it nice and big for you. I'm going to type in GDB. And now we see by default, it's using the latest and greatest version that I just installed and compiled from source. Let's copy those binaries into the default location where they can be located from. So I hope this was useful. Now you know how to get the latest version of GDB on your machine, as well as the bin utils, which are very useful on Linux systems. And you may be able to try these instructions as well on Windows or Windows subsystem for Linux and Mac and try to apply these same skills that you learned for building software. So again, I hope this was useful. And now you can use the latest and greatest tools wherever you are. All right. If you enjoyed that, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one, folks.